Hi, this is video three for the Epson RunSense watch. Um, I thought this time I'd go through things I like about it, things I don't, things I've heard about people with their watches, and then uh, you can make up your own mind from there. First of all, I like how snug it is with all the uh, different holes there. It gives you the chance to have a really nice snug fit. It's uh, it's nice and lightweight. As you can see, there's very limited uh, buttons. One thing I don't like is that it's not very descriptive of what things do. Yes, it says start, stop, lap, display there, but that's all well and good for when you're using it to track yourself but when you need to set things up you know you're gonna need to read the instructions quite thoroughly because it doesn't give you any clue as what to do when you want to upload when you want to search through the menus but for what I use it for which is basically just uh, running you know I like the heart rate monitor on it when it works it does tend to drop out if you get cold but it's not something that I live by um, I you know I use it as a, just a bit of extra knowledge you know just to see how I'm pushing myself but I don't you know I don't run at a specific heart rate for like some people do um, I do like that it's got a uh, pedometer in it uh, I also got a Fitbit and um, comparing the two on steps during uh, exercises and stuff like that it's pretty much spot on give or take 10 20 steps over a you know a 10k run so that's really good it's good to know that it's quite accurate and uh, so far bar one little uh, one little Strava segment blast it's the GPS has been spot on the one segment it failed on I think it was because of my change of pace it was a very steady jog to a, a serious serious sprint and uh, it took a bit of time to for the uh, GPS to track which failed on the segment so that's the only downside to the GPS that I've found so far but the rest of it's good the battery life has been really quite good I've not really turned it off since getting it so I've always just left it alone and it's gone on to its power saving mode and then when I've gone out for a run I've picked it up and it's just straight on um, I don't know if this helps with satellites because I've never had a problem getting satellites I know some people on Facebook said they've had terrible satellite um, connectivity and they've had to wait five ten minutes but I've never had to wait longer than a minute it's been really good now I don't know whether I'd leave it on or if it's just where I live or if they've had a a dodgy watch but so you know GPS wise satellites wise power battery saving mode I haven't got anything to complain about too much going back to the fit the strap can fit around your wrist really nicely but the li little uh, tucking bit of rubber oh no, I'm not sure what the technical word for it is but that little thing there is qu sometimes quite loose and um, as you're running it can quite easily uh, your strap will come out and then it'll start flapping about and get a little bit annoying a feature that I'd like to see on it is the light button being able to the lights come on automatically when you hit an auto lap uh, or a kilometre or a mile whichever you've got it set to that'd be nice if it came on automatically so you can whilst you're running in the dark you can just have a quick glance you don't have to press any buttons you don't have to distract yourself from your run just quick glance and run on that's uh, one thing that I'm sure they will add on in future watches as it is a very handy feature well, that's video three for now there's a few things on there i'm sure i'll think of a few more um pros and cons uh let you know for video four thanks for watching